Today we're taking a look at three different iterations of the Martin D28, trying to find which one might be the right one for you. Stick around. How's it going, y'all? My name is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like and comment on our videos. And if you're interested, check out our Patreon in the link below in the description to become an Alamo Music Insider, get some cool behind the scenes stuff, early access to videos, some merch, some cool discounts and deals. It's fun, you should check it out. So like I said, we're checking out the D28 today and kind of looking at three different versions of this that Martin currently offers. Um, I think of the D28 as kind of the guitar, the dreadnought, the classic acoustic guitar because you know, Martin, the legacy brand, it's just, it's a very beautiful guitar, kind of the flagship that I would, you know, consider. So we're going to start off with the standard D28, look at the specs, and then compare it to the HD28 as well as the D28 Modern Deluxe. But starting over here, um, if you're not kind of in the know of what the deal is with the D28, 28 is the series, so it's a spruce and rosewood back and sides guitar, and D denotes dreadnought. So... Big old guitar, spruce and rosewood top. This one has an aging toner applied to the spruce top. It gives it that yellowish kind of tinge. Um, you have the modern belly bridge in ebony. Same with an ebony fingerboard. Um, you know, nice basic dot inlay. That'll come in handy later when you see the differences. Um, but nice performance neck. Um, I believe it's a modified low oval with a taper and it's got Waverly tuners. All three of these guitars are gonna have the same nut width and scale length, so that's not really the difference we're talking about here, but it's good to know that all the basic stuff is the same. Wood pairing, scale length, um, nut width. Now, this guitar has a diamond volute on the back of the neck, heading up to the headstock, nice reinforcement there. And um, last thing, the Style 28 um, is the name of this back stripe, and it's just kind of this nice, almost, it's not checkerboard, it's just style 28, so it's kind of a back and forth, black and white, um, ornate looking stripe. Now, the top of this guitar has the style 28 rosette, but the purfling on the top, that inlay, is just a black and white stripe. It's kind of, I guess, maybe a five ply, um, you know, back and forth of thicknesses and varying colors, but it's a very basic look. It's gonna have the antique white binding. And it's kind of as basic as it gets for these three guitars, standard series, D28. Um, the big thing about this guitar that differentiates it from the other two will be the bracing. So this is just regular non-scalloped X bracing. And if you don't know the difference between scalloped and non-scalloped, regular braces that come in contact and kind of reinforce the top are just going to be straight strips of wood. I believe it's five sixteenths uh, you know, of an inch. So it's very thin but it's just a regular straight strip. And the other two have scalloped bracing. So we're gonna to move to the HD28, which kind of has a few key differences between that and the D28. Um, you'll notice right off the bat what I said about the dot inlay. This kind of has the nice abalone snowflake inlay on the fingerboard. And this one has scalloped bracing. So it's just carves out of that wood to take away more mass make it lighter, make the top a little more responsive, a little more resonant. Um, it's a feature that is pretty much present on any high-end guitar that you get. Um, the X bracing, if it is X bracing, you know, excluding Taylor. With V-Class bracing, it'll be scalloped X bracing, just because it's better performance, better sound, better resonance. Um, and you might be wondering why they don't do that on the D28. From what I understand, it's just that's how they have been. The D28 had the classic OG non-scalloped X bracing, so they kept that on the D28, and for the kicked up version of the HD28, it's scalloped X bracing. Um, the H in HD comes from the herringbone, which is what this uh, top purfling is. It's got the herringbone. It used to be on the D28. Who's to say why they took it away? I guess it was a cost-saving measure a long time ago to keep the D28 affordable. They brought it back and put it on the HD28 and kept the D28 as it was with those stripes and gave us the HD28. So if you think that you're dealing with a high definition guitar, HD, the H comes from herringbone. Um, herringbone dreadnought, you might get a little high definition tone out of the scalping of the braces, um, but 
that's the deal. So hopefully that cleared it up if you were thinking it's a high definition guitar. It is, but that's not why it's called that. Um, the other difference is the back stripe will be the HD zigzag, which you can see over here. It's kind of a, it's, it's nice. It's kind of similar to the 28 style, but it's a little more ornate, a little more special. Everything else for the most part is the same. This one's got the volute on the neck to headstock, same Waverly tuners, same ebony on the bridge and the fingerboard. And so, uh, you know, it's just nice. I think most people would like to spend a little bit more, get the scalloped bracing. When it comes down to it though, it's really a personal preference, what you like of tone. They both sound fantastic. So it's worth hearing the difference if you can playing them, hear the difference, feel the difference for yourself. Um, but there's a reason why they kept both of them in the lineup, you know, and didn't just make this one the D28 because they got to preserve a little classic vintage style. Now, if we're talking about the opposite of vintage, modern, we're going to check out the modern deluxe D28, which kind of, um, you know, you'll see right off the bat, this has herringbone and this has scalloped X bracing. So why they didn't call this one the HD28 modern deluxe eludes me. But um, there are a few differences between the HD28 and the D28 Modern Deluxe. Appointments would suggest that it is more like an HD than a D28. But um, similar formula, nice spruce, nice rosewood. The difference is you can tell this one does not have the aging toner of the other two. This is a clear finish, um, and this wood has been given their VTS treatment. So that's Vintage Tone System, I believe and it's their version of torrefaction. So it's heat and pressure treated spruce to kind of artificially, but not artificially, um, age the wood, give it the same tone and sort of response that you would expect from an old instrument. So it is nice to have that VTS. I do believe that the scalloped bracings in this guitar are Adirondack spruce. The other two were Sitka spruce, so kind of an upgrade there to the Adirondack. And I believe the Adirondack bracings have been treated with the VTS as well. So everything that's coming in contact with the top on the bracings, top and bracing, both torrified, both showing off a little more of that vintage tone, which is nice. Um, I don't know if you can tell in the video, you'll probably see in the photos, um, the binding here, it looks similar. It's that same kind of age white look, but this is actually maple binding. So it's just naturally finished maple. And this one does have the HD zigzag style backstripe, but if you look very closely, you can tell that it's wood. It's not um, like an acrylic or what would be found on the uh, HD 28. The uh, Waverly tuners on here are the same open gear. It has the diamond volute. The hardware is gold though, and if you look closely as well, the frets are gold. So it's all kind of screaming this very modern, luxurious look, and the tone kind of falls in line with what you'd expect from the heat treated top, the torrified top, the bracings, the nicer wood. Um, so at this point, I've talked about them, I'd like you to hear them. I'm gonna play all three of these, do the same thing on all three so you can try and pick out those tonal differences. Um, really pay attention to the response, the full EQ range of these guitars. They should be pretty similar based on the wood pairing, but the bracing is gonna affect it. The uh, treatment with the VTS of the top is going to affect it. Um, and hopefully you can kind of hear a difference. I'll wrap up with some of my thoughts. But for now, take a listen. Here we go.
So there you have it. There are three versions of the D28. One thing that I forgot to mention is the first two, the D28 and the HD28, have the modified low oval shape. This is, I guess, what they're calling a vintage deluxe neck. Um, so it's a little bit different of a shape, I guess. I don't feel that much of a difference, but they made a point to denote it differently. Um, I think they feel very similar. The satin finish on the Modern Deluxe is a little different as well, um, and it's just something to feel. This one's a little closer to a semi-gloss. It's still very smooth, um, but the other two have a true satin, I think, and that's just you know what I feel. Those are more the same, the HD28 and the D28. This one kind of steps everything up. The last thing to bring up is um, that I forgot to mention are the liquid metal bridge pins. And now this is some like pseudoscience, I think. I'm not sure what they're thinking here, but these are called liquid metal bridge pins and they've been kind of advertising these for quite a while. Um, and from what I understand online, they're saying that this is a zirconium alloy in the bridge pins that pushes vibrations away instead of absorbing, so it redistributes the energy. Um, I think it's like those copper bracelets that grandpas wear and stuff that are supposed to redistribute your energy and give you better balance. It's all like something you might see Dr. Oz pushing on television. Um, I really don't feel or hear a difference. However, some people swear by these, so it's really worth playing them for yourself. I think the biggest thing that turns me away from the liquid metal bridge pins is that they have bright red on the dot right in the middle. And if you can see that or not, when I look at a vintage style uh, Martin instrument, I want it to look vintage. And the red is kind of sticking out like a sore thumb for me. And maybe that's what's making me feel so much anger towards it and resentment. But um, either way, bridge pins, upgraded bridge pins, and they also advertise a carbon fiber bridge plate, which is all built into these modern deluxe features to really accentuate the tone, send vibrations more evenly across the top and help it keep going and vibrate rather than deaden the tone on the bridge. There you go. So my thoughts, um, I think that I have been indoctrinated enough by Chris McKee to know that scalloped bracing does make a difference and that it is an improvement in tone. Um, that's not to say the D28 standard by itself with the non scallop bracing sounds bad. I think you can tell it sounds pretty dang good. Um, but if it were me, the old school D28s had the herringbone. So that's one point for the HD28. And I liked scallop bracing. I think that's a nice feature that should be included on all high-end guitars. So when it's included on the HD28, that's what sort of screams to me that that is the flagship guitar. That's the flagship of the flagship, which is the D28. Um, and as for the Modern Deluxe, I wanted to make this video, you know, Josh behind the camera was talking about it. First of all, we never have these three um, in stock at the same time. And the stars aligned. We've been lucky enough to get a lot more from Martin recently. I know they're kind of catching up with a lot of back orders, So they're doing really well at getting stuff out to us, which is kind of a treat. But um, it just so happened, kind of, we receive all these at the same time. It's cool to have all three and compare them. Um, I think Chris did a video on the HD versus the D or the D versus the Modern Deluxe. One of those, he's done two of these before, but we've never had all three at the same time. Um, so also, we've had a lot of customers always, but recently, for some reason, I think it's because Martin are, is showing back up in people's listings. Um, a lot of people asking about the Modern Deluxe and our thoughts and if it's worth the upgrade. Um, I kind of go both ways on this, but it's important to note that the setup on here, the action's a little high for my taste. You might have been able to hear it in my demos that it was a little sloppier. I can, I'm man enough to admit that I played a little sloppier on this one, and I tried many, many times. We took the best take. So, um, I can blame that on the action, or maybe I'm just a sloppy guy, but the setup sort of informed how I felt about the guitar at, at the get-go. So if the action was lowered, this would probably be pretty perfect, and we will do that in store before it ships out to anybody, so be aware. But um, the VTS top, the Torified top, is kind of, I think, the big upgrade that you're getting here. Um, and if you've watched this far, I just remembered another thing. This is hide glue on this guitar. So the other two are not hide glue. They're regular adhesive, modern adhesive is what they call it. 
Chris likens it to tight bond. It's just wood glue. Um, hide glue is a much heavier duty process, but the way it dries, it's crystalline. It's almost glass-like, so it allows reverberations. It allows vibrations um, to pass through it much easier instead of, like the liquid metal, you know, instead of dampening the tone when it hits those points, um, this guitar is truly designed to let everything breathe. So that is a great upgrade that you'll find in a lot of custom shop instruments. Um, so you're truly paying for something that's more than just aesthetics. I think that a lot of higher end guitars, once you reach a certain point, it's a lot of aesthetics that you're paying for. Um, but this does have construction based things that are upgrades. So if you're looking for like the top of the line, you want one guitar for the rest of your life, which is the case of a guy that I spoke to on the phone yesterday that was talking about modern deluxes. This is really as high as it goes without getting to the custom shop and you are seeing that go somewhere, the, that extra that you're paying. Um, all of these are available with pickups if you want them. This is the only one that I played today that does have a pickup in it. And you can always choose from Martin which one that you want. Or if you buy it without a pickup, you can uh, you know, specify to us, do you want an LR Bags or Fishman, whatever. This comes with a Fishman right here. Um, it's a great pickup. So all of those things, VTS, uh, the hide glue, um, liquid metal, the bridge plate, all of that different stuff is going to add a lot more, the maple binding. Um, so it's not just more because it's, you know, fancier looking. I think all of these look pretty much in line with each other, and you could probably look at all three and say that's good, better, best. Um, but for me, while I love the upgrades of this guitar, HD28 is where it's at for me. Um, that's totally my opinion. I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys think, which one you liked more. Um, but if it were me, if you're looking for a D28 for yourself, I would highly recommend the HD. It's got the scallop bracing that you want. It's got the inlays on the top that you want of the herringbone. And to me, it's the one that just projected the best. I had the funnest time playing it today. Um, but all of these are right for a certain kind of player. So if you listen to the demos, if you listen to this whole thing and my ramblings about these guitars, you got to let me know which one you like the best. Um, let us know in the comments, but also if you want, subscribe to the channel because we got stuff like this coming out all the time. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So we thank you guys very much for watching and doing that. Um, you can find more on these guitars all on our website, alamomusic.com, where you can chat with a bunch of different people here and kind of ask more in-depth questions if that's your thing. Um, but either way, check it out on Alamo Music. If you're in the area, please come by the store and check these out while we have them because they're beautiful guitars. And uh, we'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.